The Beats Per Minute or BPM feature of Laser OS allows you to synchronize your laser show to the tempo of your music. BPM can control the speed of your laser animations, the reaction time of settings like rotation, hue, or the intensity of effects, and the timing of audio reactive effects such as beat zoom. The number of beats per minute can be automatically detected from your music or manually set. The audio setting tells Laser OS where to listen for your music. In this case, I have it set to loop back the input from my speakers. This way, what I hear on my speakers is also what Laser OS uses for input. It's good to have an animation loaded so your preview window will display the effects of your settings. With music playing, click on the BPM button in the left panel of the main window. If you know the tempo of your music and wish to set the BPM manually, enable Manual BPM and enter the beats per minute in the number field. If you wish to set BPM manually by tapping, click or tap on the tap button at each beat. Continue tapping until Laser OS has settled on a tempo. To set the BPM automatically, make sure Auto BPM is selected. It may take several seconds for Laser OS to determine the correct BPM setting from your music. If you are playing music with a drop, Laser OS can detect that as well by turning on Drop Detect. Once Laser OS has determined the BPM of your music, you can exit the BPM pop-up. While Auto BPM is active, Laser OS will continually detect the tempo of each song played. Switching to a different song with a different tempo results in a new Auto BPM setting. With BPM now set, we can synchronize other settings to the beat using Link. In this case, I have the beat zoom effect applied to my laser projection. The intensity setting is a slider which allows you to set the minimum and maximum power of the selected effect. Click on the setting you wish to link. If it isn't already checked, click on the Enable Link checkbox. The Beats option sets the number of steps it takes to go from the minimum intensity to the maximum intensity on each beat. With a setting of 1, the intensity will increase from the lowest intensity to the highest intensity smoothly once per beat. With a setting higher than 1, the intensity will increment in steps between each beat. This is a way to create an intense, fast-paced effect. We will set the beats to 1. As you can see, the beat zoom effect is applied at each beat. The arrows indicate the direction the linked attribute is applied. The right arrow tells the BPM effect to increase from the minimum value to the maximum value with each beat. The bidirectional arrow sets BPM to increase on one beat, then decrease on the next. The left arrow tells BPM to decrease from the maximum value to the minimum value on each beat. For now, I'll set the intensity to increase from the minimum to the maximum value on each beat. Now let's say we want to throw in a bit of rotation. Click on the rotation button and make sure the enable link box is checked. I will leave the beat at 1 for a smooth effect and apply the bidirectional arrow so my animation rotates to one side on one beat and back to the other side on the next beat. The maximum and minimum rotation values can be set with the rotation slider. Let's see how our animation looks and syncs with our music. In order to clear BPM links, you can either deselect the Enable Link box of individual attributes or click on BPM and use the Clear BPM Links button, which clears all links. BPM is also used in animations such as dancers. The speed of the dancer will match the speed of your BPM setting. Combine this with your other BPM linked effects to create your own custom laser show.